Hey everyone! Welcome to the channel of the Husky Maiden. In this video, I'm going to talk about an aspect of Siberian Huskies that is always widely talked about, and that is the amount of exercise they need as a high energy breed. Everyone can fulfill their physical requirements in different ways, and there are always a variety of activities one can share with their Siberian Husky. One thing that is important to consider before getting a Siberian Husky is their lifestyle. As someone who mostly has sedentary hobbies, a Siberian Husky wouldn't have fit my lifestyle well in the beginning. But after getting my Husky Riley, I gradually became more and more active. My desire to fulfill her physical needs as best as I can trumped my familiarity with always staying indoors, and now I greatly look forward to our walks together. Although initially it can feel like it's a chore, you're getting out of the way on a daily basis, it's actually a great bonding experience to share with your dog. Also, after the pandemic and having social activities restricted, many started to see the immense benefits of simply going for a walk outdoors. It improves your circulation, helps you burn calories, supports your joints, and can improve your mood. I usually like to use it as an opportunity to surround myself with beautiful nature. That way I can enjoy many things simultaneously while I walk with her. On a daily basis, I aim to give her two long walks per day, unless we fit in another high intensity activity. Each walk is usually 30 to 45 minutes, or we can even go for up to an hour if the weather is really nice. I chose to live in San Diego because the weather directly improved my happiness, where I was far more motivated and eager to take her out for walks than when I previously lived in New Jersey. With Riley, the majority of our walks are structured, which means that she is expected to remain in a heel. For us, that means that she is on my right side and behind my body at all times as we walk. This makes the walk mentally stimulating for her and means that she focuses on me during the walk as well, instead of checking out. When I stop, she sits. When I turn, she turns while maintaining the position. Doing so reduces reactivity and truly makes it an experience you share together. Another physical activity that we often do together is hiking. Since I usually drive far for our hikes, we go for at least one to two hours and she's fairly exhausted afterwards. Sometimes I also have her carry her own rough wear hiking pack with her own water and collapsible bowls to give her more of a workout. When it comes to hiking, I do not recommend off-leashing your husky unless they are fully off-leash trained with a very solid recall. If I encounter others, I go off to the side and have her sit and let them pass. Then we continue. If we do a hike, I usually refrain from taking her out for a second physical activity that day, although I'm sure she would be capable of it. Next, we have her favorite play activity, which is fetch. If we're at the park, I'd say that with a chuck it stick, she can go for 10 to 15 minutes nonstop before she is entirely exhausted. I try to always throw it as far as I can on each throw. Ideally, I'd love to do this with her daily since she enjoys it so much. It's also great if I'm short on time that day because it means she'll get in a great amount of exercise in a shorter amount of time. At most once per session, I like to get in a practice of recall because it's really important to have them practice that command, especially when they have high ball drive. To avoid killing her excitement for play though, I keep it to one successful recall. Lastly, this is something that I only recently started picking up for Riley, and that is riding the one wheel with her. Since we have hardly done long distance cardio together, for now I try to limit her to one mile every time I take her, and then we will gradually build up when I see that she's able to do more. Normally the ride lasts about eight to nine minutes and we average around six to seven miles per hour each time. Also, since she is running on the street, I keep it to one ride per day for now to make sure that I'm not overworking her paws. I wanted to give her another outlet for running outside of fetch, but have discovered how enjoyable and fun the one wheel is. If you have any active breed, I would highly recommend it. Overall, my intent for this video was to show everyone what works for me. 
In my opinion, there is no hard set rule for how much exercise Huskies need per day. There are a variety of ways to achieve it, but what's most important is that you do get them outside every day as much as you can. What works for me may not work for others, so you just need to find the right fit for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching.